Hey everybody, welcome to Return to Positive. Thanks for joining me today, it's Sunday, and uh, I'm really tired of this coronavirus, I'm sure all of you are. I don't understand some of the precautions. For example, here in South Carolina, we are limited to no more than three in a group, which I understand. Um, but they've closed all the parks, um, walking trails, all that stuff. And I don't understand that since getting outside and getting some exercise is one of the things that uh, Dr. Fauci and others have said is good. So, but anytime you're dealing with government or governments, they're usually run by people who really don't know what they're doing. Um, in our case, our uh, our governor Henry McMaster is not so bright. He's a Republican governor. Um, he is one of only, I think, four or five states now that will not issue a stay-at-home order because he says South Carolina is special. It sure is. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are um, all doing well. I hope you're staying positive during this whole dilemma. I apologize for the noise. Um, I'm outside because it's so beautiful and I didn't want to do it in the house. Nobody wants to be on camera today anyway, except me, so here we go. Uh, again, I hope you're staying positive, um, connecting with your family. Take the time to call somebody that you maybe haven't spoken to in a long time or write them a letter or email. Look them up on Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever social media you think they may be on. Everybody is going through this in some way. Some people are fortunate enough to be isolated with family. Some people are unfortunate enough to be isolated alone. I can't imagine being in the house by myself and not being able to really see anybody. So, I hope you'll consider calling an old friend or talking to someone because you just never know they might be alone. If you have phone numbers for your neighbors or in your community, PTA, whatever group, and you have some phone numbers, call and check on them, see how they're doing. That's one way to help ease someone's anxiety, their stress. People need to know they're not going through this by themselves, that we're all feeling the same things. We're ready for it to be over, to get back to normal, whatever normal will be. And they say now maybe this is going to be a seasonal disease, so hopefully it'll be easier next time that we won't have to um, you know, isolate ourselves. We'll be able to easily fall back into social distancing, wearing gloves. Hopefully people will continue to wash their hands. As I, that one puzzles me. I didn't know people stopped washing their hands. Um, so, be positive, stay positive, help out when you can, um, you know, if you have elderly neighbors, I saw the great idea of giving them three sheets of paper, one uh, red, one black, and one yellow, or whatever colors, just red was, I need help, and then the other two colors, whether it's green, and yellow like a stop site. Green means everything's okay. Yellow means I need groceries or a pharmacy run or something like that. So if you have people in your area that you can help and you go out or you're essential or you've already had the virus and gotten over it, um, please reach out to your neighbors and friends and see what kind of help you can do. Um, don't forget to be grateful today for the day for everything you have, for the people around you, for the love you have. 
And again, find some joy today with your family, in your family. Do what's, what feels good. This is a time we actually have the time to do something we enjoy. Whether it's something you used to do years ago, something you've always wanted to try. I saw something on the internet the other day and it makes sense. If we come out of social isolation for two, two weeks or 30 days and we haven't learned something new, learned a new craft or skill, or if we haven't done something we've been meaning to do, then it's not time we lack, it's effort. So while you have the time, put the effort into getting things done you wanted to get done. Learn something you've always wanted to learn. We have the internet. Everything you could possibly ever want to learn is at your fingertips. And instead of sitting around watching movies, um, just eating yourself into oblivion, learn something. Whether it's a skill for work, whether it's a craft or a hobby, a language get started uh, if you want to write a book start it if you want to paint paint or draw or whatever makes you happy but come out of this better not the same as you went in because it truly isn't time that we're looking for it's the effort because if you make the effort to do something different it'll get done have a great day everybody and I'll see you again on Wednesday. Stay safe. I'm praying for all of you to stay safe from the virus and I hope it's over soon. May you all be blessed. Thank you.